Dear friends, a process in which Jewish and hence Christian religion became monotheistic was certainly complex and highly convoluted. In the early stages, God Yahweh was merged with West Semitic head of pantheon, God El. When El and Yahweh were equated, El and later Elohim became just another different name for Yahweh. But through this merger, Yahweh also acquired El's spouse, goddess Asherah. That is how Yahweh got his wife. A strong archaeological evidence attests this divine couple, and we even found some evidence in the Hebrew Bible itself where Asherah was renamed and thinly disguised as Lady Wisdom. There was also a parallel process of achieving monotheism by merging Yahweh not only with God El, but also with his spouse, Goddess Asherah. This process gave us a number of examples of biblical divine androgyny. God Yahweh, which combines both genders and their roles. Here is an example from prophet Isaiah, chapter 66. Shall I open the womb and not deliver, says the Lord? Shall I, the one who delivers, shut the womb, says your God? And few verses further, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. You shall be comforted in Jerusalem. Here God Yahweh clearly acquires not only motherly role, but with it also a womb and ability to give birth. And I'm not making it up. In the book of Job, God asks, has the rain a father or who has begotten the drops of dew? From whose womb did the ice come from? And who has given birth to the hoarfrost of heaven? And there are a number of other biblical instances of this phenomenon, and one even in the book of Deuteronomy 32. You were unmindful of the rock that bore you. You forgot the God who gave you birth. Here you have both genders combined, or both functions, even divine womb in God Yahweh present. Within the realm of religion, it is not anything unique. Just remember in classical mythology, Zeus giving birth to Athena from his forehead, or carrying and giving birth to Dionysus from his thigh. God Yahweh not only had in the past a wife, goddess Asherah. Later, Yahweh merged with Asherah herself, acquiring her womb and with it some androgynous features. Later on, a strong patriarchal, divine masculine agenda took over. But there are these clear examples of different past, Yahweh's womb and divine biblical androgyny. And that is something you might not know about the Bible.